Mm -hmm. You know, near enough that I could get up here, you know, reasonably right. quickly. I don't mind it. It's, mm -hmm. Especially living in a basement apartment. What do I need to be doing when I'm here on the planet in this season of life? And what I hear is to be a facilitator, one that opens the door to bringing people to this idea of wherever they are, right? Bringing uh, sacred rituals and practices.
you see. Ahead. It's easier to, to meditate because the mind just focuses on the sound, where it's come from, where it comes from, the intensity keeps your mind from going other places. It keeps keeps it right here the and right sound. now. What the sound? You say the sound is just in general around you? Well, where kind of where they're coming from. You, you're focused on... I, I'm talking about direction. Got it. You know, okay. you're focused on one that's coming from here. And okay, it, got it. And then it's coming here. Yeah. And it just kind of helps your mind just blow naturally without having interruptions. Right. And, and the outside world. Mm -hmm. I like that. This I definitely like that. right? Yeah. This was my first time. Yeah. Doing, I envisioned it, mm -hmm. but and I come here and do it, but I said I, I, I know other people. I know it would be just yeah. I mean, I think that it would definitely work with the individual sound therapy. I mean, yeah. or you know, a small group, like yeah, a small group. group. Yeah, yeah. Be my work. Be launching the second season of Lake Therapy. Sound Healing by the Water. Um, I'm going to be focused on one-on-one -on -one sessions where those, um, and it's for, it's for the feminine. Um, I will start first with an opportunity to work with the sister groups and people that have experienced my work and know me, giving them first preference for the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one journey with me right by the water. And what that looks like is you would meet me at a certain park or lakes and it would be during, during the week when it's quiet and not a lot of traffic. I would set up a yoga mat in a comfortable way um, you would bring a journal, water, and I would bring my sacred instruments. We will have had a discussion ahead of time to understand what you want to transmute or begin to release as far as healing. And we, I have you come and I'll take you on a journey. I help you to tap into nature and you have this dedicated sacred time. I did that last year, 2023. I, I traveled all the way to uh, um, Stone Mountain, did one-on-ones, but mostly I did group um, events. This camera went off. Yeah, I was doing group events, but um, as I sat down and meditated to receive direction for this year, I am to work one-on-one. -on -one. And if you never had experience before, um, I'm going to go into archives and share testimonies from those that have. Why I do this is because I've been doing this for myself for years, and it has been wonders. It has been transformative. And so I'm hearing from spirit, invite in other sacred souls one-on-one. -on -one. It'll be like a 90-minute time. Might spend a little bit more time, but I'm gonna tell you, guaranteed, from that session, you will leave with a palpable shift. I am Empress Chakra Wanda. You call me Mama Wanda. I am here to guide and to encourage and to hold space. I am a medicine woman and a divine spiritual teacher. But I'm also humbly a student always. And I like to introduce to people who are on 
an awakening journey, especially those who are new to their spiritual awakening or those who have started their journey and lost their way and need to get back on path. Yeah. And so I help you understand. And I also introduce to you spiritual self-awareness tools, techniques, processes that you can nibble on, take back into your life. I hold space for you to, as you dive into it deeper, um, and connect you with other master teachers that can take you further, you know? Um, But peace and blessings, and thank you for being, taking the time to watch and be here with me. Yeah. It's beautiful out here. Every now and then, an ancestor came to visit Do you know about the Red Cardinal? Look, he's looking at me. (laughs) The Red Cardinal, the spiritual meaning when they show up is supposedly your ancestor of a loved one from heaven is visiting. I just happened to walk over here and there we are. It feels like male energy. Is that you, Granddaddy? <laughs> He's getting closer, y'all. I'm not doing anything. Wow. Beautiful. Coming closer and closer. Wow, y'all. Oh my God. I'm just staying still. I mean, this is the closest I've ever seen. And I believe that it has to do with the energy. I am in alignment with the stillness of nature. Wasn't that wonderful? 